Yes, you might be able to tell from the tone of my voice, I'm a little bit run down, and I would like my voice to last till midnight. So I have a favour to ask, I need your help. There are two bars here. If you want to have a conversation, please, can you do it in the back bar? If you want to listen to the contest, please stay in the front bar. Alright? Now if you're a title holder and you're thinking this doesn't apply to me, yes it does. <laughs> I don't care if you're holding court, I will tell you to shut the fuck up, bitch. It's my ninth year hosting Mr. Yay! Chicago Love. Each year we start with a little roundup of news, what happened since I was last on this stage. I don't know if you saw in the news at the end of last year, there was an iPhone application made it into the news. Did you see? Because they claimed they could help parents tell if their son was gay in just 20 questions. <laughs> and the reason it made it into the news, the questions were shit. One of them, swear to God, does he play football? Another one, does he take a long time getting ready? <laughs> Now, I can help save you some time, because I've narrowed it down to just three questions. One, is he having sex with men? <laughs> Two, would he like to have sex with men? And three, is he a happily married conservative Republican? <laughs> You're hosting your first event as Mr. Chicago Leather. He's won the title, he's hosting an event and he wants a balance between kink and community. Describe your event. Well, I just happened to be watching TV over the weekend and was watching the BBC, and Hyacinth Bouquet was having her indoor outdoor finger buffet. So, in having this first event, we would have a buffet. We would start out this part of the bar with the lesser of, of, of tables of events, such as maybe a little bit of flogging, uh, electro play, um, suspension. And then as we would move to the, towards the back of the bar, we would go towards the heavier stuff, such as the water sports, and fisting, and just it's a table of arrangements of different things for you to pick and choose whatever you'd like to do. Thank you very much. Contestant one has sex on a beach. Sex on a beach. It, um, it depends on the definition of sex. My own business got my little towel. <laughs> Put the towel down, lay down on my butter, and this guy comes by, and uh, he was walking around with his friends, and he's like, damn, he's got big feet. That makes you wonder. So I looked at the guy, I smiled, and I said, cool. The guy goes, whatever he was going, he comes back, and when I see him coming over, I said, I got this guy. <laughs> so I turned around, and then I started going like this. <laughs> and I said, wonder no more. <laughs> I've been with that guy for three and a half years. So. Right, look at your list. You can look at it together. Don't say anything. Don't show the other team. It's a list of 10 sexual activities. Now I also need the photographer's help. I would open it to the whole room, but if, you, if everyone starts shouting out, we're not going to hear. So what they're going to do, they're going to have a minute each to act out the 10 things on their sheet. The photographers need to shout out what it is they think they are, and I'm going to tip how many they get right. So you're going to have a minute, you can act out as many of these as you want. They have to guess. You ready? Timekeeper, are we ready? Ready, steady, go. 69! 69. 69 is correct. 72. Food play! Food play! Not food. Whipped cream, chocolate sauce. No, not chocolate sauce.
Correct. Correct. Boom the king. Foot wash up. Foot wash it. Was that? Yeah. Got that one. Next one. Yay. I like how it seems the bottom and all that. Puppy plays. Correct. Uh, Clothespins. Clothespins is correct. Remy! Oh, not Remy! 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 We had a number of recounts in my book that both winners. Now when I announce the name, it's going to go a bit mental. So uh, whoever wins, I want you to stand in the middle of the three of you, because there's going to be loads of pictures. And then when the photographers are done with you, if there are any contestants for IML coming up in May, come up on stage and you'll get your chance. I have the bit of paper. And I wasn't a judge, so nobody blame me. <laughs> Jason, can you unhook the vest and present it to the winner? And the story. Which has been in Tupperware, so it's nice and safe. <laughs> Are you kidding? It's covered in cob. Yeah, we were. <laughs> the winner. The winner of Mr. Chicago Leather 2012. The winner of Mr. Chicago Leather 2012 is contestant number two, Angel. Getting with us, please support Angel in his title year. I'm sure he's going to be holding events here at Touche. He's going to be good for the community. And thank you both. Thank you to Darren.